Yeah, well, let's talk about uh, our weather right now, and uh, it definitely doesn't feel like May out there right no. now. No, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, winter starts in just two days, uh, oh so change of our seasons come Wednesday, and later this week we have a threat now for some winter weather in the city. Uh, now, a reminder, we are still five days out, and there will certainly be adjustments into timing and intensity of what may come, so keep your eyes on the forecast with me all week, and we'll be watching any updates together here. But uh, right now, it's a quiet start on this Monday. Uh, we're sitting with cloudy skies overhead, 38 degrees, and temperatures will likely hover right in the mid-upper 30s all morning long. We'll bring back a chance for showers as we head towards our later morning. Then throughout the afternoon, some off and on light showers possible. A look around the state here, and you can see on the east sides, back under frigid conditions, Burns, Oregon has been sitting in the negatives really uh, all morning long uh, and throughout the weekend too. And out to Baker City, a single uh, digit temperature there at 2 degrees. La Grande, 19 degrees, just very cold out in areas of eastern Oregon. Around western Oregon in the valley and out towards the coastline, we're mostly in the mid-upper 30s right now. So a little more mild, at least compared to the east sides, but still chilly out the door here. Uh, do grab that heavy coat and maybe a rain jacket too. We may see some scattered showers pushing back in. Right now we are pretty dry, but again, you can see here some very light pockets of some rainfall, mostly out towards the foothills out in Clackamas County and up to Mount Hood. We're still getting some snow falling. Uh, so we'll be tracking that as well today, but really quiet weather and low impact weather for our Monday and really first half of the week. It's later in the week that we could see some winter weather, but today for the coastline back in the 40s, we'll see a fairly cloudy day out there with a few showers here and there. Same for in Portland too. We're back in the low 40s today with cloudy skies and this afternoon some hit or miss lighter showers still out there, so do carry that rain jacket. So let's talk about the cold air that comes. We have this Arctic air mass here that's been nudging down southward all week long. There's that Arctic front and it's mostly up in areas of Washington. This will kind of toggle around the area here as we head into the next couple of days, but then this air kind of sinks down southward into areas of eastern Washington and Oregon and again right through the gorge. We start to see that air funneling into Portland, so we are setting the stage here for potential winter weather here come later in the week as that cold air works in on Thursday. Then as moisture comes on Friday, uh, that could start to drop some freezing rain and even some snowfall here around the area, so it's time things out on our future cast. We're pretty dry heading into today. Notice those showers that will shift on through and will mainly target areas of southwest Washington. Snow for up in the Cascades also. Uh, but again, all rain falling today with those lighter scattered showers. Tuesday, we're back under a weak system that just quickly moves on through. So back under rain again, heading into tomorrow. I'd carry the rain jacket. We'll see off and on scattered showers and some snowfall up in the mountains. Then we dry out heading into Wednesday and Thursday. We're expecting fairly dry conditions, but that is the period where that cold air filters right throughout the gorge here. And uh, you can see that directional wind change and that cold air starts to settle down in Portland here. Temperatures on Thursday may only hit the upper 20s for daytime highs. So we're frigid on Thursday. Then we bring in this system and as that warm moisture rolls in over that cold air at the surface, we could start to see some freezing rain here. That's why you're seeing all pink uh, on this map and that is freezing rain kind of spread out around the valley. So concerning and could bring uh, some big travel impacts to the area here as that freezing rain continues to fall. We could see some major icing around the area, so we're going to watch that trend and that pattern heading into the week. But right now, Friday will be the day to watch for potential snow and icing here around the area. Uh, but until then, a fairly quiet week of weather. We do turn much colder heading into Wednesday even and Thursday. Daytime highs in the 30s and upper 20s. So prep to see some impactful winter weather by late in the week. We'll be watching those trends very closely.